Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Now's a good time to go ahead and subscribe. Y'all know. <laughs> Today's video is in collaboration with Toyo Tress. Of course, all the details will be listed down in my description box. This is their, of course, Passion Twist in the length 20 inch and a 1B. It is super lightweight, soft, and natural. It doesn't actually have a smell. You guys know I'm 5'2", so I wanted to show you where this kind of stops on me, and it's right above my boot top. So um, this is going to be a quick tutorial just to show you how to avoid ever having to braid your hair and to get a quick and fast install in less than two hours. So first thing first, I'm definitely going to go ahead and start by moisturizing my hair. Obviously, it's already been blow dried out. Um, and so start with clean hair please ladies like um if you do not have the ability to um you know blow dry your hair out that's fine here's a flashback of a video where i did this exact same style without blow drying my hair i actually just um kind of put it in four different braids and then allowed it to dry overnight and of course in this tutorial i went ahead and preset my baby hairs just because that's more so of the annoying part at the end so what i'm gonna do first things first is go ahead and start sectioning off my hair so you can definitely determine how many parts boxes you want i'm saying boxes because once we get into the tutorial you guys will see um exactly what i mean i'm gonna start off with the middle part just because why not <laughs> and of course i'm going to go ahead and part off one section directly behind my ears and then of course do the same thing on the other side just to kind of get the hair out of the way so if you guys are a beginner this is going to be perfect for you because your parts and your boxes do not have to be perfect the way that the passion twists are actually going to be laid is going to allow for a lot of flexibility um now first things first i did want to take a look at how many rows and parts i wanted to give myself because in some tutorials i do less parts parts more parts it kind of just depends the way that I get a really good idea on what I need for each section is just to hold up one piece of the hair in this case is passion twist alongside my actual scalp and then just kind of see what the boxing space needs to look like obviously you do not want two inch boxes <laughs> with um, you know really thin one inch in with hair so in this case I think I did five and five on each side don't quote me you guys will end up seeing this process and so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start sectioning this off and pretty much get started now if you guys are not familiar with this process already then you will need some rubber bands so go ahead and get those prepared um, in one tutorial that I did back in the day um, I think a little bit last year at the beginning of quarantine I actually showed you how to do this style with braiding but I understand that everyone is not a pro braider, so I wanted to make it a little bit easier for you guys that did not know how to braid and maybe twisting was literally the only option. So here we're going to take a little bit of edge control and that's actually going to help us really get the part as straight as possible. So um, I believe I was using the cream of nature, y'all know, I pretty much use that for every single style just because it really holds my hair down and I use the one in the, I think it's like a yellowish orange uh, pack, it's supposed to be their super hold. Go ahead and apply a little bit of that at the base of your hair you really don't need too much because again your hair is going to be tucked away and then go ahead and use that rubber band to secure the box in place definitely make sure to not put too much tension on this because you are going to be connecting these to each other so you don't want your edges to literally be pulled as tight as possible there's no need for all the extra pulling and you don't even have to braid this all the way down or twist it all the way down because you're literally going to connect this. So you'll see what I'm talking about here. I'm just taking the first box, connecting it to the second box, and I'm going to continue that process all the way until I get across my hairline. So from here, this one's kind of one of those tutorials where I can really talk less and just kind of show you what it is that I'm doing. And then I'll pop back in once we get to the back of the style. All right, guys, so we're working on that last connector box <laughs> is what I'm calling them. And, of course, now my hair is free. This is where you can decide if you literally want to put your hair in a small bun 
at the nape of your neck and go ahead and crochet over that but just to make the tutorial a little bit more sensible I went ahead and parted this down like I would do a cornrow kind of in a not even a neat way at all this does not have to be perfect no one's gonna see it and I'm literally just gonna do a flat twist so uh, it's kind of like a double twist going all the way down to the nape of my neck now if you don't understand how to um, double twist then that's okay go ahead and literally just roll this down or again put your hair in one small ponytail at the nape of your neck and put it in a bun and literally crochet over that the hair is so thick and full that you would not see it now because these are twists I did need to have something just to really hold the style together so at the nape of my neck I applied a rubber band then I'm going to continue to twist the rest of my hair down and of course apply a rubber band at the very end of my hair obviously so that they don't unravel so this part to me is kind of self-explanatory I'm going to continue this all the way around I think I did about four or five braids um, or twists going backward and then of course we'll start the crochet process in just a little bit and if you guys are curious what product it is that I'm putting on my hair um, honestly I don't remember <laughs> so I'll try to look through some of my stuff and link that down into my description box I'm pretty sure it's some type of like uh, castor oil or just any type of protective oil to really lock in the moisture since your hair is going to be tucked away will be fine. Alright, so just finishing these up, you guys can see, um, very easy to do, very quick. I think this part really took me maybe about 30 minutes, maybe. <laughs> and so, of course, if you don't know how to sew, that's okay. I'm literally just taking a bobby pin and pinning it up that's it super simple now on to the crocheting part right so the great thing about toyo tress is they actually give you everything you need right away from rubber bands to additional clips and all type of things to kind of beautify the actual style but here is what the latch looks like so you can see how it opens and closes literally going to go ahead and slide the latch or the uh, crochet needle through the bottom part of my um, box so right up underneath the rubber band again this is why you don't want them to be too too tight go ahead and open up that latch it might open up on its own and then of course the passion twist here does already have a pre-loop which is perfect go ahead and swoop that down close the latch and slide it right underneath your uh, pop your box braid I want to call it a braid but it's not even that it's literally just a box once you get that going, go ahead and open up that loop a little bit more. See how open it is and it can move freely. <laughs> you don't want it too, too tight. And then go ahead and knot that, pull it down to cover the rubber band and voila. I'm going to go ahead and do this again just so that you can see. Um, of course, you want to slide the crochet needle underneath the box with it closed. Don't try to do it while it's open because it will get caught and tangled in your hair. Then it's going to hurt. Yeah, so try not to do that. Try to keep it closed. Once it slides underneath, it's going to naturally open on its own. Loop the crochet hair on it. Go ahead and slide it through and knot it. Super easy, super lightweight. You guys, obviously this is tension free because your hair is not braided at all. So when I tell you guys I did this style in an hour and 30 minutes, this is why I didn't st speed up the video too, too much because I really wanted you guys to get full insight on what it was like to do this style almost in real time um and so yeah just gonna go ahead and continue this across the front and then once we get to the back you guys will see how i'm literally just adding the crochet hair up each twist and then i'll begin to fill it in in the ends All right, babe, so for the most part, the hair is pretty much full. We are almost done, <laughs> but I, I kind of wanted to take another look. You guys, my makeup was still intact. I was happy about that, and um, I did go ahead and kind of retwist this one just because it, I don't know what was going on with this particular twist, but it's passion twist, so it can kind of be messy. That's okay, but you guys can see here where if I was to like put this up, half up half down with a bun you would clearly be able to see where the crochet starts and finishes so you want to go ahead and fill these little spots in um, and you don't have to put the hair extremely close together thankfully because the twists are really chunky soft and full you definitely want to just kind of sporadically add them in maybe about a finger width apart and you guys can see how quickly um, I was able to go ahead and get that added and we're gonna go ahead and finish off the style from here Alright babe, so that's pretty much it for the tutorial. You guys are always wondering, well can you see the braids in between? You kind of can, but if you do the, the box is small enough, 
honestly it will be so unnoticeable now i haven't tried this with color but definitely let me know if that's something you guys are wanting to see just because i know everybody does not naturally have darker hair or want to just use the 1b or the color one hair that's fine let me know down in the comment section below i love you guys so much stay pretty and i will see you in my next video bye babe